This color is so in for spring. I've been seeing it everywhere. Oh my God, you guys. Surprise. Hello. <laughs> and then it clicked in my head because I looked over to the guy. I'm like, are you guys Katie and John? I'm stopping here until Trevor gets home just because these screws are kind of hard. my feelings out you look at me like i'm different still you stay cause you feel something real get so lost in my moments doesn't mean i don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors they kind of tell me what i'm thinking i fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are another vlog I have just been working all day got up to my regular morning routine you know the one and then headed to the gym I don't think I filmed that but I just made my lunch I have been eating the sandwich like every day I showed it on Instagram and people like went crazy over it so that's how I make it we went to Costco on Monday I didn't film that but we got these everything bagels and they were two for one actually so I have a lot of these left to get through but this sandwich is a bomb if you guys want to try making it basically I scoop out the insides to make it more like a bagel thin and then I put it in our George Foreman grill just to like press it a little bit and then on the bottom layer I have pesto then turkey cucumber tomatoes and then salt and pepper and then on the top piece I spread a little bit of light cream cheese you could definitely do regular cream cheese I just like have the same situation with cream cheese as I do with feta where for some reason I just genuinely prefer the reduced fat version it has nothing to do with trying to lose weight or be healthy or anything I just for some reason I like this more I think it's because like my mom always used to keep the reduced fat or fat free versions of foods in stock in our house so I'm just more used to that texture and when I eat the full fat versions it just feels a little bit too rich for me so I 
think that's why I do those. But anyways, today is supposed to be a pretty chill day. It's Thursday. I just got a Nasty Gal order in. So we're going to do a little try-on haul. I'm really excited. A lot of really cute spring pieces that I'm going to shoot this weekend. But first, I'm going to finish up my lunch and then I'll see you guys upstairs and I'll show you guys what I got. Try-on haul time. So like I said, got a package in from Nasty Gal that looks huge because there's shoes in there but there's only just like a handful of things. Don't think that this is gonna be like 20 items. I promise it's a small one. But before we get into that, actually, I just got this in from Amazon. I ordered a gua sha. This is something that like I've seen people have in their skincare routines and I've never used it, but I finally decided to bite the bullet and order one. So let me give this a try. I know I'm not doing that correctly right now, but I'm gonna watch a tutorial and then figure out how to incorporate that in to my skincare, but I'm excited about it. But anyways, what I got, this is all gonna be spring stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and try all of the pieces on, starting out with this little yellow number. All right, moved you guys lower so that you could see everything a little bit better, and sorry, the room, I haven't cleaned it up from the last time I filmed, and I'll probably end up cleaning it tonight or tomorrow, and then end up filming the next day. That's just how the cycle goes in here. But anyways, so this is the first item, this like oversized crew neck sweatshirt in this really, really gorgeous yellow color. I love it. This color is so in for spring. I've been seeing it everywhere. Everyone's doing everything in yellow and I just can't get enough of it. So this one says today is going to be a good day. And I really, really liked that, you know, just a little positivity in your life with the quote and the like sunshine hue of the sweatshirt. Then I also got a pair of shorts. These are a pair of distressed black denim shorts. I like the length on these. I think that this is a good length. They may write up on me a little bit, but it's fine. I can live with it if they write up because I do actually like the length of them when they're not writing up. So, I mean, I just might have to tug them down a little bit. The waist on these fit pretty good. It's a little bit big. I did size up to an eight. Whenever it comes to Nasty Gal and their bottoms, I always size up just because I feel like they can run a little bit small. And then especially in denim, which most of the time is not going to be stretchy unless it indicates that it's going to be stretchy. I'd want it to be comfortable and stuff. Like if I wanted to wear it, imagine that this is a bikini top instead. So I'd want to be comfortable. You know, I don't want anything kind of like pulling or tugging or causing like any unnecessary muffin top. So I don't mind when the shorts run a touch big, especially when we start getting into the warmer seasons. Okay, then this is the next like outfit. I had imagined this together as an outfit, but the thing is this is kind of big. Like I'm a little bit scared here. It's this really cute knit ribbed bralette and I got it in a medium because I do have a fuller chest, but this is so stretchy and it's mainly the length of the straps that I'm the most concerned about. Like look at how much I could fold it to be comfortable. So I kind of wish I had gone the small, but it's not so bad that I feel like I need to exchange it just also because exchanging with Nasty Gal is just such an issue. So I don't really want to deal with it. I'm going to keep it, I'm going to wear it. I'm just going to be very careful when I wear it. And then these shorts, I saw them on the website and I was like immediately obsessed. This is actually what started this order, but they're a pair of like almost denim hue, but they're not denim, but like a denim hue pinstripe dress shorts. I like the length on these, something just like a little bit more conservative. I usually wear short shorts, but I think that these are really cute. I like the style, just something a little bit different from my regular denim shorts that I always wear. And even though they're a little bit dressier, I feel like the fact that they kind of look like a denim hue makes them feel a little bit more wearable. But yeah, this is kind of an outfit I had an idea going for. And then I wanted to wear these shoes with it. These are a pair of white platform mules from Nasty Gal. These have been so in the like 2000s platform, which is a platform and a flat shoe all in one, kind of like this. It's something that we're gonna be seeing a lot. It's coming back in from the 2000s and I'm so excited for it. It's giving me like rocket dog flashbacks, which I'm in for. That's what they look like. So cute. I'm so excited. They were the first things that I tried on when this order came in and I'm obsessed. They are exactly what I had envisioned for these. And then lastly for the order, and I don't know if I'm going to wear this with this outfit. I actually have a different way I might want to style this, but I got this faux leather blazer. I don't know what's up with me. I've been kind of into Nasty Gal blazers lately and I'm not really a blazer person, but 
lo and behold this is the second one i've ordered but it's in this tan color and this one i got a large in the other one i wish i had gotten a large in so i was smarter on this one and i just like this for spring i think that this would be a good outerwear piece but that's how it fits on me again this is the large i think that this is like more the fit that i was looking for when i ordered the other one just this more oversized longer slouchier fit but yeah i really like this one I'm, i can't really see myself that well in there but from what i can tell this actually kind of goes together i don't know i guess i'll find out when i go to edit the clips but yeah that's what i got from nasty gal for spring i'm really excited to style these pieces make sure you're following me on tiktok so you guys can see how i style them there's a reason why i'm not saying instagram we will get into that in a different vlog but a few of these pieces are coming with me this weekend when i go shoot with michelle so i'm excited that this order came in time because i have lots of fun ideas for these all right hey guys it is a friday shoot i'm spilling things but like for real i am getting ready to do my makeup because i'm gonna film a video if i could find my primer one second i found it this was still in the spare room from when oh i was filming my top five elf cosmetics video it's like a new series that i want to start of my top five makeup products from different brands so if you guys haven't seen that i would appreciate it if you go over there and check it out and then let me know if you guys like that series if you guys want to see me do more brands like milani i already have like a list going for that anastasia beverly hills someone requested fenty shout out to francis so i would love your feedback if you haven't been able to get over there already to let me know if you guys would want more and also what other brands you guys would like to see for that but like i said right now i'm getting ready i am filming my good american denim review and a goldie comparison i've had this video on my list for like a while now and i'm filming it just in case I don't get to put up the video I wanted to put up on Sunday. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to put up my Jaclyn Cosmetics lipstick review on that day, but I am still waiting to find out if the lipsticks are going to come tomorrow. So if they don't come tomorrow, which is Saturday, then I won't be able to film the video to have up in time for Sunday, but I have a really, really fun video idea for that one. God, this foundation's so good. Ever since I did that St. Patrick's Day Get Ready With Me, I just like, I remembered this foundation and I love it. It's, oh, it's so good. If you are judging behind me, yes, the bed is not made. Also too, the room is messy. I've just honestly, you guys, I've been having a bit of a tough week. I'm just having some issues with feeling down about certain platforms. I'm sure you guys can guess which one it is or you guys know which one it is if you follow me on there. And I just like, I haven't been feeling great this week about it. And it's really kind of bringing me down. I went on a little bit of a rant about it and I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do, which is why I'm not talking about it quite yet. But anyways, that was just all to say, yes, I know that the bedroom looks bad behind me and the bed looks bad, but you know what, let's normalize you know, days where we're not making our bed. And let's normalize, you know, having a rough time. So that means that your house doesn't look put together. It's okay. It's real life, you know? It's one of the things that I really love about YouTube is that you can just kind of be real on here. You don't have to look picture perfect all the time. If I'm watching a YouTuber and I see that their house is messy behind them, personally, I never judge that. I'm always just kind of like, oh, so they have days where they're off too, where they, you know, don't have it all together too. And that makes me feel better because it's kind of like one of those like you know everyone has those days and it's great to see that that you know not everything is organized and put away that's why I don't bother to make the bed and stuff or anything right now I'm just showing you guys real life here you guys I am so obsessed with this bronzer I can't even tell you it this is like my favorite now I do desperately need a new brush for it it's so bad look at all of those bristles that are falling out in there and I know as I'm applying it, I'm gonna get bristles on my face at some point right now. These things are breaking off really fast. Oh, there it goes. There's one bristle right there. Oh, there's the second one. Thir third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. There we go. Thank you for making my point. So I desperately need a new, like, dense bronzer brush so bad. I really want to, like, put in a new Ulta order, but I'm trying to be a little bit smarter right now because... You know, it's springtime and I'm excited for like all of the new spring stuff, obviously. But, oh, oh my God, you guys. 
surprise y'all summer's gonna be lit i'm going to hawaii <laughs> My mom just texted to confirm the dates. I need to answer her back and tell her, yes, I can go. I mentioned in a vlog not that long ago. I don't even remember what I was talking about right before this. So I apologize about that. But I mentioned in a vlog, probably just like two or three vlogs back, that my mom pulled the trigger on canceling Europe. So she texted us a couple days ago and she said, we're thinking of doing Hawaii instead just for this year. So we would push Europe back another year. And she's like, let us know. And we had already told her like, yeah, we, we think so. But now she like actually confirmed, yes, <laughs> we're going to Hawaii this year. Let us know if these dates work. So let me just confirm. Ooh, we're going to Kauai and Oahu. I've never been to Kauai. Spartacus is going crazy downstairs for no reason. I guarantee you, cause there's no package deliveries today, I don't think at least. But anyways, we're going to Kauai and Oahu. I've never been to Kauai, I'm really excited about that. I've been to Oahu and I love Oahu. I actually very, 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 very much prefer Oahu over Maui. I've been to those two and I, I mean, I liked it. I would not say no to a trip to Maui, but Oahu by far wins for me when it comes to those two and I've always wanted to go to Kauai. So I am so stoked about that. I've actually already started shopping for it, even before it was uh, confirmed. I haven't bought anything. I like window shop. They put stuff in my cart and everything, so I'm excited. So we're literally going to leave two days after our anniversary, which will be cool. I was actually kind of, when she was originally telling me late July, I was kind of hoping that she'd book it during our anniversary so that Trevor and I could be in Hawaii for our anniversary, but it's okay. It doesn't mean that we can't still celebrate, see if we can tell the hotel it's our anniversary, see what they give us. You know? Now I'm distracted. What am I doing with my face? Also, what was I talking about before? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Not important anymore. I have got to be better about eating than if we're going to go to Hawaii. I'm gonna stop buying myself ice cream, I swear. I mean, I already had plans to, you know, tighten up a bit because we're going to Vegas in June for Trevor's birthday and... <laughs> He invited a bunch of people from the gym. I'm talking trainers from the gym, not just like people trying to get in shape like me, like trainers who are in shape. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Cause he was like, yeah, I want to go to like the pool clubs and the pool parties. And I'm just like, I really like wanted to be able to eat, but I guess that's gone. Eating's no longer an option for me. And this is perfect because Trevor and I were like planning if we didn't go to Europe, we were thinking about going to like New Orleans or Nashville or both even this summer, but hell, we'll take Hawaii with flight and rooms paid for. That's fine, we'll, we'll sacrifice New Orleans. It's okay, I think we'll live. Oh, that's what I was saying before. I've been trying to be a little bit better about what I'm spending money on right now I say as I like already admitted that I've been shopping for a vacation that hadn't even been officially booked but since it's you know spring we're going into summer don't get me wrong I love my YSL bag I do feel like you can wear it all year any season but you know I thought it might be nice to you know get a new just lighter funner spring bag so I have my eye on a couple I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna purchase a brand new bag or if I am going to purchase a secondhand one. I have both options saved, but yeah, I'm thinking probably in the next probably couple months, I'll have a new luxury unboxing video coming up here on the channel, which I think we all would enjoy. I know I would enjoy it very, very much. Anyways, that talk about a new bag also reminded me i think i've already posted the poll i can't remember maybe i'll just post it right now so that it, it'll be true i know it's been like a little while since i got my ysl bag but i did get like a few comments and actually even straight up questions on like how did you afford your bag how were you able to save up for it and i thought since there seemed to be interest I would do a how I saved up to buy a designer bag video, like all of the tips and tricks that I did to save up to purchase, you know, something that costs a couple thousand dollars. So 
if you guys would like to see that video or if you feel very very strongly that you don't want me to make it either way head over to my community page and vote on that let me know what you guys would like trevor's like texting me and i don't see him answering my mom and i'm like dude don't text me answer my mom's text confirm hawaii i don't care what you're saying to me right now i want you to tell my mom that you for sure can go to hawaii oh man i'm so excited for hawaii like i i literally just i want to stop doing my makeup right now and start online shopping but I won't because obviously this needs to get done first. <laughs> I feel like that brow came out very strong. Okay, calm down there, ma'am. Oh, by the way, I think the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze is back in stock. I want to try to get that, but again, I'm trying to be smarter about purchasing. It's always these like little tiny impulse purchases that kill me when it comes to spending because like I will plan for like big clothing purchases if like I know ahead of time you know I want to do a haul or I want to shoot these spring looks or I want to do a video like you know five ways to style this garment or something like that. I'll plan ahead of time and budget that into my monthly budget so those kinds of purchases aren't really the kinds of things that kill me. It's the little impulse purchases where it's like oh this is just you know 30 bucks here 10 bucks there because you know you do enough of those and they add up so i'm like trying to be like okay i know that that brow freeze is now back in stock but i don't necessarily need to get it right now like i should definitely wait until there's other stuff from ulta or sephora that i absolutely need to get all right let's see how i feel about this half lash i mean it's pretty it's like nice and flirty i'm not gonna say no to it it is kind of odd since i do prefer bit of a fuller lash but i'm not mad at this this would be great for like more of an everyday look though okay wait no this is cute this is cute it's cute okay yes okay cool let's spray this all down going in with mac spice lip liner going in with claudia from natasha denona this is the i need a nude collection done i need to do my hair still though finished my video and while i was filming i actually i had forgotten i got an amazon package in today i'll show you what i got so i've unpacked it already and i've made a mess but basically so we'll do that last because i need to unpack that but i'm sure you guys have been seeing everyone wear those like black disposable face masks and i wanted to get some for my car just they are honestly more aesthetic than the blue ones so i got myself a pack of those i'll open that in a second and show you guys and then i got this lighter this is like one of those rechargeable lighters and i'm super excited about this because i'm actually scared to light matches believe it or not i like burn myself and i just lighting matches and regular lighters that are shorter just scare the living shit out of me so i have been eyeing a lighter like this for a little while here's the mask cute chic we know her we love her i think that this is gonna be perfect just to leave in my car and you know grab in case i forget my mask nice good on the go option then here's the lighter it charges via usb as you can see here and i mean i don't think it's charged i highly doubt that charge no it's not but it's got a little bendy head so if you have you know a candle that's all the way down at the bottom you can bend it and get right in there and yeah i guess it just like sparks right in the middle there when you turn it on here's the button looks like you can do different levels or no that's to tell you if it's charged hello hi i'm dumb sometimes but i'm excited about this i'm gonna charge this up right now because i want to use it Two of these i only unpacked one but i've been in the market for some like long sleeve workout tops i've been wanting to work out in shorts again but if i'm gonna work out in shorts i kind of want a long sleeve so i got a pack of two from amazon they do have the thumb hole in them there it is right there so if you like that style it does have that and i got mine in medium looking at this i feel like i could have gone for the small but it's fine i don't mind the extra room and then this is the other color that i got in this like light blue but yeah i'm excited about this always good to have some cute new workout gear to motivate you to get in the gym you know okay just kidding you guys she came charged fully charged so perfect i'm gonna go ahead and light the candle so i guess i just press this button Ooh, and then it's got the sparks wow that looks so cool and then there we go <gasps> Oh my god that lit so easily i love it wow oh my gosh what the fuck so she's super lit 
I'm not mad at it. Yay, I'm so happy about this. Why did a spark just fly up? How dangerous is this? It is now Saturday and I'm on my way to meet up with Michelle. We are shooting in Marina Lido Village in Newport Beach. I've taken you guys there so, so many times. I think even just in like the last month because my family and I shot family photos there. So I'm headed back there. It's one of our favorite places to shoot. The only thing is just since everything is now opening back up, she had heard from some people that went last weekend that it's really crowded there. So we're a little bit nervous about the parking situation, but keeping our fingers crossed that, especially since it's a little bit cooler today and a little bit overcast, maybe people won't wanna go as much, so we'll be able to find parking. But first I need to go pick up some flowers. I'm gonna stop at Trader Joe's for that. I think I saw that they have like some really nice tulips and stuff, so I thought that that would be nice. I have a cute little spring dress that I'm gonna shoot. Just, you know, very into the season. I'm ready for the warmer clothing. I don't know what it is. I just feel like winter's always so difficult for me to style. Not that like it's necessarily hard, but just because we don't get cold here really. It's, you know, our cold is relatively not cold compared to other places. It's kind of hard to get that really cute layered up look without dying from overheating. So I love it when spring hits because that's definitely more the California style speed. So I'm in my first spring look. I've got this top. If you guys remember it, this one is from my Princess Polly haul. It's the tie top that I made into a twist top, which is such a huge trend right now. And then you guys can't see, I just have a pair of jean shorts and these really cute white mules. Oh, the ones that I showed you guys earlier in the haul from Nasty Gal. So that's the outfit that I'm wearing to start with. And then obviously I have the rest all on the back here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just like had to go around the parking structure twice, but I got a parking spot. I'm happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thank God. I was like so scared that this was gonna take forever, but only actually took me five minutes. So not too bad. Lots of people coming and going. So it was actually easier than I thought it was gonna be, but here's the flowers I got. They're so pretty. These are for my second look. So I'm gonna leave them in here, but I'm gonna grab whatever I need right now and go meet up with Michelle and I need to switch out the lens. You guys know the deal. Found Michelle. There she is. Look how spring we are. I know. Today's the first day of spring. Oh, how fun. <laughs> this elevator's not working. Oh shit. Oh, there's stairs over Should here. Yeah, let's just do it. So we're in the middle of shooting and Michelle's like <laughs> checking out this rug. I have, a, <laughs> I have a woven like rug that's smaller that I can put on top of it. <laughs> $50. How much? $50. Oh, uh, it is a good size rug to it be is. fair. You know who can afford that? Like a woman named Susan who's 60. And I'm jealous. <laughs> Alright, so here's my outfit. <laughs> my past <laughs> other one. Anyway. I have on this unitard from Boohoo. Nasty gal blazer, which is so unusual for me. Like the Yeah, I've that's seen so it blazer once. Yeah, and I never even posted shooting. it. I never even posted it. This hat is nasty gal I believe and then my shoes <laughs> those the are Fila that window looking like <laughs> hello <laughs> we just got done with our last looks and we already put our names in to go eat we weren't originally going to eat together after this because she has plans and then I have plans but we got done so early and then I was going to get food to go from this place anyways it's called Zinke if you're ever in Orange County, in the Newport area. A lot of people talk about it, it's super, super good. But I was originally gonna get to go because they have this like tuna tartine that I love. That's what I'm gonna get. And I was gonna use it for when I shoot the Jocelyn Cosmetics lipsticks as like a wear test kind of thing to see if it, how it holds up to that. And unfortunately the lipsticks are not gonna come in until the middle of next week. So can't shoot that anyway. So we're like, screw it. Let's just sit down and eat together, so. That's what we're gonna do. I'm just waiting for Michelle to change, and then yeah, we're gonna go get food. They told us that it was gonna be a half hour. That was about 15 minutes ago, but since I told them that we're fine sitting either indoor or outdoor, they said it could end up being even faster. So we're just gonna head over there and kind of wait around the area because I think that they're probably gonna see this like any minute now. Back in the time when you and I were something It was back in the time, oh yeah You know that I tried, yeah I really tried Oh you gave me that feeling You 
gave me the feeling I'm free I felt so trapped until I found you Until I found you Now all I feel is free You know that I would never leave you Cause I feel Okay, you guys, crazy story time. Story time. So, by the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're back here in this area, right there, shooting Michelle's photos. There's like a couple of bikes that are like right there. And she's shooting. So, or like, I'm shooting her. So, so shooting I have my back. Yeah, and I see these two people, like this guy and this girl standing yeah. right here just watching us take like I want to say like three rounds of photos like I came back and I'm, like look at the photos and then do it yeah, again. Yeah they waited like while we were doing the whole process. But I thought they were just like waiting for someone because yeah. there's a curb right here but um I, or like there's a walkway right here so I didn't know if they wanted to walk by but they didn't make any effort to like walk by. Yeah they're being very respectful yeah. in the process. Yeah. yeah. That's what trips took us off. Yeah and then um I come back for my last round to look at the photos and the girl comes, it was like a guy and girl, and she's like, sorry, we're gonna just squeeze behind you. And then I like put my body against the wall. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I put, yeah. and then Sarah. So like they walk in, like I see her, and I was like, oh, her sunglasses are really cute. They're the Desi backtracks, the same ones, the exact same ones that I have. I'm like, oh, those are cute. And I was like, wait a second. She looks so freaking familiar. I even thought she looked familiar. Yeah, well, because I've sent you yeah. so many videos. So I'm like, and then it clicked in my head because I looked over to the guy, I'm like, are you guys Katie and John? And they were like, yeah. And I'm like, I, I probably looked like as fast because my adrenaline hit at that moment. I'm like, Sarah was like, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I've been subscribed to you for forever. I'm a huge fan of both of you guys. And they were so nice. I was just chatting with them. I didn't even think to be like, oh, okay, get a picture or, or like, or anything like that. And John actually offered, he's like, you want a picture? Yeah, I'm glad he said that. Yeah, because I totally would have let them go. And I was just like sitting there watching Sarah <laughs> talking to them. Like, I know how excited she is. Because Sarah sent me so many videos of hers yeah. and theirs together. So, like the squad Desi, Katie, John, Steven, yeah. I love them. I watch them all the time. So, I like they were some of the first people I've ever subscribed to here on YouTube. Um, so, I was like, oh, I, I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God, that's so crazy. Like, what are the odds? You didn't, you didn't like, they live in LA. We're in Orange County right now. You didn't waver. Like, you weren't like, what is the, you know what I mean? Like, you seemed confident. Like, I didn't think that you. Oh, like, did I seem confident? No, I thought I, thought I seemed like a staff. No, you seemed really normal, but I could tell that you were really excited. Okay. But I don't think, <laughs> like, God. anyone else probably would know, but I could tell that the way that Sarah was talking was not, like, our relaxed conversation. Yeah, I could yeah. tell she was, like... <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. So, yeah, John offered to take um, a picture, so I'll put it right here on the screen for you yeah, guys. And right I took here. It yeah, she, all of thank God. Like, the way that this aligned, because, like, we normally, once we're done eating, we leave for yeah. a shoot, and then, like, most random back corner yeah. that she decided she wanted to shoot in. Thank God I was here on a day that was, like, I was here with Michelle because if like you know Trevor had taken that like our heads would have been cut off or something. Wow! So, wow. Start so I, I had my photographer with me <laughs> to take the photo, uh, so that was pretty, pretty cool, yeah. pretty sick. I, yeah. Wow. We can make. What are the odds? Yeah. Exactly. And the vlog is done. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. We're still going. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a double date tonight. I'll take you guys on. Going to movie theater for the first time in over a year, but. That was pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Wow. wow. I didn't think to like whip out my vlog camera. I'm so sorry, you guys. Plus, yeah. I didn't want to be intrusive. I yeah. don't want to be like, hey, can I put this camera in your face? But I'm sure that they would. I mean, they, they're YouTubers. I'm sure that they would have. Yeah, they fine with it. But I just. Because I told. Sarah. I was trying. I was fighting everything in me to try to look as calm as possible, but I was not doing a good job. I thought you looked great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could tell that you were excited. Yeah, I was like, Sarah, do they live out here? And she was like, No, they live in LA. And I was like, yeah. What are the odds? I know. Exactly. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And that we didn't shoot where I live today. I know. I know. Totally. It all worked out. Just so yeah. Stars aligned. Day May. Oh wow. And that's a wrap on shooting. <laughs> it's later, and I'm with Trevor now. There he is. There he is. <laughs> and we are heading to go meet up with our friends for a double date. We're actually gonna go watch a movie inside of a movie theater. What a concept. Haven't done that I haven't gone in over a year. Months. Well, he, he got to go a little while back, but I haven't done that in over a year. So I'm really excited about that. But first we're going to go eat at Saddle Ranch, which another thing I haven't been to in like over a year. So 
I'm excited. I'm, not, I'm on a big drink. Okay, that's fine. Big one. Back in the time, yeah, back in the time when you and I were sent. All right, hey guys, so I just got back from Trader Joe's. Not doing a haul, I didn't get anything interesting. Everything was just basically like refills on stuff you guys have seen us get before, but the kitchen is a mess. <laughs> My deep clean from last week did not last very long, but it's okay. So a lot of it's my fault, so whatever but i stopped and i got bonsai bowls i haven't had this in so long if you are not native to southern california then you don't know about it but basically they're acai bowls and then they also have pitaya bowls they have smoothies and stuff but the acai bowls are like the original it's where it's at i get the dakine bowl which is like peanut butter and chocolate and it's so so good and then i add raspberries on top but I used to get this all the time, especially when we lived in Huntington, which I don't know why I insisted on getting it in Huntington because the Huntington location is impossible to get into. You could always like call ahead. Now they have order online ahead, which I'm like, I'm so happy that they finally did that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, whoops. It's just so fresh, you know? Mmm. But if you are in Southern California, we're coming to Southern California soon, especially like the beach cities. Look up and see if there's one of these in the area and get it. They're like literally, they're so good. Mm. I have them in Huntington, Costa Mesa. Apparently I only live in cities where there's a bonsai bowls. Oh, there's one like in Newport Beach too. God, where is this one? I didn't even know about that one. Laguna Beach, that's the other location. That's right, Huntington. San Clemente now. Wow, they've expanded. There's also one in Sunset Beach. Oh, they have them in Hawaii now. Did these originate in Hawaii? And I just didn't know. Maybe. Anyway, highly recommend. The line is always crazy long to get in. Like, it's impossible to get in. And they always seem to build them in places where parking is very inconvenient. But, again, worth it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, anyways, it's Sunday. And I've just been chilling all morning. Ran an errand. Traders. But today is gonna be exciting. I think I'm gonna wait until like five or six because Trevor's supposed to get home around seven. But we are gonna start building the pantry back there. Finally, it's time. And I told Trevor I'd get it started, but I definitely want to time it so that when he gets home, I'm at least in the middle of it. I don't want to be like finished because I need his help. It's really big and all the pieces are actually relatively heavy, so. I'm gonna do my best, but we will get to that a little bit later. For right now, I am gonna unpack my Trader Joe's haul and enjoy my bonsai bowl, and then I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay, so it's later. Trevor let me know he's gonna be home in about an hour or so, so I thought I'd start with this. I think the strategy that I wanna do is start laying out all the pieces so I can see everything, and then I'll start to dig into the instructions and see what I'm able to start on my own. I am very, very overwhelmed right now just even staring at this, but I'll be fine. I've got this. I mean, I built the bookcase upstairs pretty much all by myself. Trevor did help a little bit, but I built that one pretty much by myself. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this one. Take a shot in the dark in a crowded room Felt a buzz in the blood Do we fall too soon? Okay, slight issue. I cannot find the instruction manual on how to build this thing, which obviously I would need to know how to build it. I have no idea where we put it. This is driving me. Oh, just kidding. I just found it. Of course, as soon as I turned on the camera, I found it. Wow. My intentions are good. I'll take care of you. Cause boy, I care for you. With you all.
I'm stopping here until Trevor gets home just because these screws are kind of hard to get in and I'm tired. So I'll wait till he gets home because then he can use the power drill to finish these up and tighten them. Actually, the rest of this isn't too bad. I, I think the hardest part is gonna be the doors, but that'll be a lot easier with the power drill and I'm not confident in using it. So I am just gonna wait for him. So pantry not sure if we're gonna slide this all the way over into the corner yet or not but we're gonna leave it here for right now so I do want to switch these out for brass handles eventually but here it is I'm gonna start moving like a few things into here tonight oh, it's just such a relief to actually have a pantry right now and sorry that I didn't catch like the whole building process we just were taking breaks in between every few steps so I was like forgetting to turn the camera back on but it's all finished she's done Thank God. I swear my intentions are good. I'll take care of you like I said I would. I swear my intentions are good. I'll take care of you. Cause boy, I care for you. This is where we're here for right now. It's by no means organized. I tried to like work out a little bit of a system, but definitely we want to get some acrylic organizers in here. Okay. <laughs> and stuff just to, you know, make it a little bit more aesthetic. But up here I have just some coffees. That's for the iced coffees or the cold brew coffee that I make. Some tea, baking stuff, seasonal like hot cocoa and then Christmas sprinkles. I wasn't sure what to do with this, so I just put it over here for right now, and then I have supplements over here. This basket I need to go through. These are just like miscellaneous things of mine, like Hershey's Kisses, freeze dried fruit, some of the Go Macro bars that I like for snacking that I always try to have, some Smart Sweets, Right Rice. I need to go through this. I don't think I'm going to keep this basket once we get acrylic organizers. I'm going to get rid of it. And then over here, I just have like some stuff that we cook and make specific things with. So oats, breadcrumbs, and then my Kodiak cake mix. And then down here is the snacks. I didn't want to put snacks up here because I want to discourage me from reaching for it. So I put it down below so it's a little bit harder to see. But on this side, I have more of my sweet snacks and then moving into the like salty and savory snacks on this side. And then down here, I just have like extras and drinks so our giant pack of rice we will literally never ever run out of rice these are some like any snack packs that we don't really eat a ton but they're still good so we don't want to throw them out and then over here some extra chico chicos and extra sparkling waters mm -hmm. 